Hi guys, welcome back. This is Medical Coding with Blue. Today we're discussing the difference between pain and injury, and I'm going to follow it up with a little snippet about sequela. Now I say it's going to be a little snippet about sequela because I plan to do um, the next couple of videos is going to be a whole video about sequela because that is a beast that needs its own video. <laughs> okay, so we're starting off with pain versus injury. So if the patient comes in and they say, I just woke up with this pain, I wasn't doing anything, nothing happened, we're, lo we're looking at an organic condition. This is something the body is doing. So it could be osteoarthritis, it could be tendonitis, we don't know. So if the provider runs these tests and they, they're not quite sure yet, obviously you're gonna go based on documentation. So you know in that case, you're looking at a pain code if they don't come up with a diagnosis on that visit. If the patient comes in and they say, well, I was in a fist fight over the weekend and you know I took a couple swings at somebody, now my hand hurts. Okay, now we're looking at an injury. Obviously, the doctor's gonna do their tests to see if it's fractured or if it's just a sprain. So then you're gonna be able to code appropriately the S code with the appropriate um, seventh digit character of A, D, or S. So that takes care of those two. Now we have sequela. So I'm gonna give you a quick example of a sequela. So the patient comes in, they were walking their dog. The, the dog pulled on their arm and now they have a broken finger. Well, the doctor went in, put the cast on, patient you know, got through and their, their fracture is healed. So now it is five months after their injury and they're still having pain in the same location that they broke their finger. So even though it's healed, we're looking at possibly post-traumatic osteoarthritis. But if it's documented as post-traumatic osteoarthritis and it says that it is related to the fracture, then we're gonna code the post-traumatic osteoarthritis first, then we're gonna code the fracture code again with the seventh digit character of S because that is a sequela of that injury. So anything that is related to the injury and it's out of the global or it's out of the healing time, then we're looking at a sequela of that injury. So, and this thing applies to, even if the injury happened 20 years ago, it's still gonna, be, if it is related to that injury, then you're gonna go with sequela. Sometimes they'll just have pain and they won't have osteoarthritis. So you would code the pain code first, wherever the location is. We can just say, let's just say for example, the wrist. So they broke their wrist and you know, 20 years ago. So you're gonna code the pain in the wrist first, then you're gonna code the broken wrist, then you're gonna code obviously how it happened if you have that information. So that is the difference with those. So it gets a little tricky with pain and injury because sometimes you know the coder may think, well, it's not documented. Well, we, that's when you really have to work with your provider. You know, what's going on with this patient? And when you are looking at documentation for injuries, you want to make sure that the provider is also documenting when did this injury happen? the date, if possible, when this injury happened because sometimes these things are related to possibly work. It could be a worker's compensation situation, so you wanna make sure that all of that information is complete. It could be from a car accident. It could be you know any number of things. You just wanna make sure that you help your provider to get all of the information recorded into that document that you can. So. How did it happen? Were they running? Did they fall? Were they in a fist fight? Did something fall on them? That kind of thing. When did it happen? Where did it happen? Particularly 
if it is a car accident you want to know the location was it out of town you know was it in Tennessee or was it in California you know just make sure that all of that information is documented you know and documented well so um, I think that about covers it I didn't know it was gonna go through this fast and explain I thought for sure I was gonna have more to talk about but I'm going to be doing some coding scenarios probably not the next video but the next couple of videos I will be shooting about different coding scenarios some tricky things that I've learned um, in coding for orthopedics so if that is your specialty well then stay tuned so uh, if you have any other questions um, please let me know uh, I have gotten questions and um, I'm glad to make videos about those questions answering anything that you guys may want to know and this is not just for coding scenarios it's obviously I'm encompassing the whole lifestyle of being a coder so if you have other questions about you know a day-to-day -day process in coding you know just let me know well I hope you've enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's so short um, but you know if you have any questions please let me know all right I'll talk to you later bye